What's going on everyone? It's 247 Zen back with another video. I just wanted to talk to y'all about something extremely important today. I've noticed a lot of y'all recently have been struggling to get better or you just don't have the tips or tools available to get better in the first place. For that reason, I'm actually making this video. I'm making a sincere promise to you that if you practice these tips and utilize these tools, your gameplay will improve. All I ask is that at the end of the day, you just keep an open mind for me. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a couple gameplays to show you how to make rotations. Oh my god, dude. It's how to engage in gunfights. <laughs> ultimately how to get more high hill games. Today's game plan, I'm going to be playing duos with an extremely talented player and personal homie of mine. His name's Swolzen. Neither of these gameplays included dubs and it mostly added up to me just being too aggressive. I'll link Swolzen's socials down below and without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so we chose to draw pretty hot. We're gonna be dropping here at Mines. I kind of dropped slow to try to look around for whoever dropped with us. I don't know if you guys heard what Sullivan said earlier, but he actually said this is gonna be a really sweaty lobby. Lit. I mean, there's gotta be people here like always. Like right there, I said, there's gotta be people here like always, you know, uh, anywhere you land, always assume there's gonna be people around you. Switch the uh, old double barrel shotgun for the MP40. So I just saw some shots. I don't know if you guys saw on the mini map. Run it back a little bit. I saw some shots up here. I pinged it. That's something that's going to be extremely useful in dropping more high kill games. Um, not only just pinging the first location, say you're going to fight somebody. Right, say I have that building remembered, and as I'm fighting them, I'll ping another location where I'm gonna go next. Going up there, right on. They're on me, below me. So, right as he said that, I didn't think there's gonna be anybody here, but uh, right as he said that, immediately I'm a good teammate, I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna go help. Even though I know Swolzen can probably handle himself, I'm gonna go back anyways. Knocked one. Awful play. So, I was able to just slide in behind him to get the easy wipe. Obviously, he wasn't a very good player. Um, pretty low level, crouch walking out from under the stairs. But, uh, yeah, he probably could have handled them himself, but if a teammate asks for help, remember, always go help your teammate. End up wasting a whole lot of time trying to get up the hill. Uh, so I saw this car driving around up here. Um, I notice I have two Molotovs. I also don't want to get ran over since I have a horrible history of that. Since uh, lethals got buffed, I don't know if you guys know, but uh, lethals actually got buffed, so they do a lot more damage now. So I was going to see if I couldn't uh, blow up that car with that molly. Ended up getting there a little bit too late. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, I can't see this guy. I don't know where he went. So right here, I end up seeing him right there. I don't know if you guys saw that. He's going to be right in this doorway. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, I can't see the, this guy. He's right there. Ends up crab walking out into the doorway. I don't know where he went. I'm like, oh crap. Doesn't peek. Figure I'm going to stun. Where? He ends up peeking. Should have been a little bit more patient. We ended up getting the knock. I guess the car is probably one shot, right? Oh. You sure you I, thought, want I thought it was like 1 I saw it. So right now he actually just made the comment to me that there's probably going to be people up at peak and uh, judging by, you know, where people usually land, there's most likely going to be people up at peak. So I grab the car, uh, throw the trophy on. Trophies are super important. Like I said, uh, lethals are super deadly now. 
and start heading up to peak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick me out, pick me out. I'm trying. I gotta go all the way around, brother. I ended up having to go all the way around. He ends up going on foot. You're dead. So we actually made a play here. Basically what we're going to do is I'm going to take this road in and then he's going to try to get an angle on top and see if there's going to be anybody up here. I'm going to try to distract with the car. I'm going to stay on foot. You stay in the car. Go the other way. That way look at you and on me. So right here, I just heard footsteps up to my right. Um, I make the comm to my teammate that I'm probably dead so he can get to that peak quicker and look down on me. Okay. You're dead? Probably. End up getting the knock. Now right here, I have no idea what I just got hit by. I know it was explosive. I think he might have shot a barrel next to me, but at this time I thought, I think that I thought it was a bow. So I end up thinking that there's going to be somebody over here that's going to be pushing, but he ends up coming from the other way. So I just throw a stun, nothing. Then I see him, start shooting me. Here I have two options. I can either play it up and run, or I can help out Swolzen. So I decide to help Swolzen. And end up absolutely destroying that dude. And now, as you can see, we have all the loot in the world. We have money for UAVs, everything we want. So I see these cars coming on my mini map. And so I want to circle around and try to get some shots on them. Uh, this cluster strike ends up being way too short. But then I notice a guy down to the left. He peeks, yep, right there. So I'm like, screw it, I got high ground, might as well, he looked pretty scared, I'm gonna go push. Well yeah, right below us, look at it. They just called us cluster out right from like below you. Can't see this motherfucker. So I end up not being oh, able to find him. Under us. Oh, there's a car coming. We are split, bro. We end up being split. So the best option here is just to probably try to rotate towards circle, we'll get as many kills as we can on the way. Towards, he just flies down the hill. Awesome, bro. Really happy for you. End up knocking this guy out of the air on the early rotation. Early rotations can be super important sometimes. Pussy. There should be one closer, brother. So I make the comm that there's probably one closer. And I see him rotating all the way down the hill. So I realize he's probably fighting. Wait, did you just kill that Twitch kid? No. So I see that they bought back right here. Um, he's gonna be some pretty easy kills. There's a kid down below me, another one. I, I, I broke his armor and I smoked I got four with 90 up. It's not a horrible pace. Uh, one's landing in on the top of the house. You can see the guy up there, but God, dude, what I'm really worried me. about right now, see, he's right in the window. I'm worried about getting to cover. There's no cover all the way out here. He says the silo, the cr truck, and the house. Oh, so Dude, while he's putting there. shots on them, I'm going to grab this Bertha. You sure you want to I'm going to make this play. And team white. Poor guys, man. Let's grab a load out here. Poor motherfuckers. So he just. Right below us. So he makes the decision to grab a load out here. Oh, you can get a UAV. Yeah. Uh, GG build. I end up so getting that AK 47. It's my favorite gun right now. Actually, we'll link a video to that in the description. Wait on the UAV. A little bit. Amazing gun, by the way. Flying in. Yep. He just dropped. Dog ass. Close by. 
right. So I ended up seeing this guy down close right. They like hook each other in this window with a 50 cal BMG. End up stim pushing, so I'm not out in the open for too long, oh and God, I spot him early. Better. This build's way better, bro. And so sliding to get the kill. Coming. Can revive right in front of me. Go to the right, bro. Go to the right. So I end up making the call that I'm gonna go right. This is another thing when you're talking about rotations. Um, early on the UAV, I saw two teams that were fighting right here and also two teams fighting at this two-story greenhouse on the right as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take out these guys so then I can hold these guys from across, if that makes sense. And right here, we need another UAV so we can see how many people exactly are on that greenhouse right here. Will, End up stimming this guy, he jumps in the car, gets lucky. I do not know how he wasn't dead. Yeah, the guy was one tap. All good. So here I end up making the call to push with the Bertha. It's super easy to be able to get up into those second story houses and stuff when people are camping, and it's also super easy to be able to push over this field like you're about to see. Somebody won that. He's on top. No other stuff fighting. Another team on my left fighting as well. So I can see him in the window as I push up. Sulzan ends up getting there quicker. I thought he was going to jump off, but he didn't. Game over for that guy. Charlie. Hello. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, so I'm just making comms by UAVs, by UAVs. And right here. Obviously, Krampus is hunting my squad, but also there's going to be people right up here on this hill. So they're out in the open. There's, they're not near a house. They're probably out in some bushes or something. So I'm going to immediately push them. That's my next rotation. Krampus, dude. Come on, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Two guys up in this buy house. Compass destroyed the Bertha. These guys are ghosted. So these guys don't end up appearing on the UAV. And uh, there's two of them, so full team. Ghosted team, so I'm just going to wait for them to pass or see what they're doing. Because I'm not yet in circle and I have no cover. So they end up not seeing me. So I'm like, screw it. Is this guy near me? Then I get stunned out of nowhere. Weird. For you too, I got super End up dying out of nowhere, oh, but it's all good. Yeah, I'm gonna die because of him. I'm fucking threw a stun out of nowhere for no reason. I, kill, I killed it. Oh, so I end up going to the gulag. So my favorite Gulag strat is just to go up into here, slide around this, kind of break their camera so they don't see me go in there, and then try to chow them at this front door. So, it ended up spawning me all the way across the map. Uh, it sucks, but just got to deal with it sometimes. I, kill, I killed the two kids I killed you. Yeah, they're ass. Yeah, I just killed them, they're dog shit. I got Krampus on me and I still killed both of them, dude. They're so bad. These kids are mad, dude. Can you find money for you fucking right, 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 right. Yeah, hold on, I gotta get rid of him, dude. But I think he's off me, technically. He's just chasing me still for some reason, even though I don't have the bounty on me anymore. That's fucking annoying. Look where it spawned me, bro. It spawned me over a resort. Thumbs, 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 thumbs. He's still chasing me, bro. So right now I realize I'm way too close to the ground, so I just opt to land and uh, try to find some loot and maybe get some kills. But I'm not even on his bounty anymore. I gotta land. This shit's so stupid. Shut the fuck out of me. Oops. Like I said, always assume there's people around you. God. 
I end up seeing this guy running up the hill out of nowhere. Like I said, always assume there's people around you. Free kills everywhere. Does Krampus come out on heartbeat? End up not being able to get the knock. Easy kill. Then I get shot in the back. I wasn't able to grab his plates. I have no plates since I just landed in, so I opt to just kind of run away for a second. I have two stuns, so I can uh, I can use that to my advantage here in a second. I kind of I kind of expected him to be right on top of that hill. Yeah, I see the body of the one. So, since I have no plates, uh, at this point I'm just gonna kind of let Swolzen do his thing. He ran back to this hut, unless there's a different team pushing. In this hut. I'm gonna grab these plates real quick. Hurry in there. For some reason, I only have three plates out of that satchel. One's landing on me. I'm literally one tap. In this tent. There's not a whole lot I'm going to be able to chow, so I'm going to make him think I'm going to go in there and then run around the other way. One more, one more. And then let Swolzen do his thing. He's like, I can't see him, I can't see him, I let him in the grass. Hey man, dude. Yeah, this is a different team, I guess. Get back in there. We're just yeah, camping in that building. This shit's clutch for the ga uh, grass and the perk I have. I can see him perfectly through the grass because of the perk and he can't see shit. <laughs> Poor guy, man. All right, so right. All right, so right here we're getting to capital. Um, I think the best play is to either get to this building or get to this building right here. I have the perk. I kind of just let you have like your way with the there's another, there's two teams in there. So I end up getting down here, realize there's going to be people up in this tower. End up pushing the crap out of them, and realizing that there's another team pushing at the exact same time we are. Yeah, there's team pushing them in the car. Wait, are you taking staircase? Yes. I'm on staircase, yeah. Okay. Is that you throwing shit, or them? Nope. I have two uh, C4s, too. So I'm trying to figure out where they are, end up catching this guy. He caught me way off guard. I think I caught him off guard as well. Dude, on me, on me, on me. Got me. You Swolzen ends up getting fucked. So I try to chase this guy, but he ended up broke breaking his, his legs. legs. You shit on the kid that was shooting me? No, he broke his legs down here. Let's go get these guys. Come on. Oh shit. We can snipe that. Let's go kill these kids. Come on. So right away, I'm like, let's go kill these kids, let's go kill these kids. I realize I have 10 kills, and I can probably get another 10 kills, so I'm like, screw it, I'm going to go for the 20 and just start pushing everything. Hey, we can both get 20 this game, come on. Let's get it. I don't know what you're saying. So I'm kind of waiting for somebody to make a mistake at this point. This guy ends up running in, all crazy-like. And then this guy ends up popping Deddy on me. Yeah. So I got kind of confused, broke his camera. Good night, Cactus Jack. End up picking up his class. So at this point, I'm just going to assume that there's still people on top of me and I'm just going to try to rotate out. I can probably catch them later. There's absolutely no way I want to fight that. I advise for the not broken window. End up seeing two right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to isolate this guy and get the kill and then come back out and get this guy. Tough scene. End up catching that guy on a reload. And you just can't really beat the PPSH. So, I'm assuming that there's probably going to be people, even more people on the right. Then I hear him in the house, I'm like, oh crap. And I see him jump out. There's two of them, so I'm going to kind of try to play my positioning. And take the gunfight. 
So at this point, Swolzen is in the gulag, so I'm just going to mark these guns for him. Remember the, where exactly I killed them so he can land and help me out. So I'm really not wanting to be in the open at this point. So I opt to rotate to this building right here. I assume there's probably going to be people hiding here as well. Don't hear anything, so I just keep rotating with the gas. There ends up being somebody sitting right there. End up barely pulling off the kill. Uh, I'm like, screw that. I got 17. And I realized that's where he... That's where his homie went. Oh, these are terrible. You can buy your, uh, your loadout for me, too. Are there still guys on you? Too. I don't know. Yeah, buy a loadout, buy a loadout. Yeah, pop a UAV. Nice. Yeah, one more. So there ends up being one more in the house, and that wasn't actually his other homie. So I'm gonna kill this guy down low. He was kind of sweaty. And by a loadout for Swolzen. So what Swolzen makes a call out for, he uh, he says there's going to be a lot of people on the left in these tall buildings, and we are in capital, so they can be camping windows, they can be camping rooftops, they can be doing basically anything. Uh, but we're running out in the streets, and we're we're out in the open, so we're just going to want to go right, so we can kill and kind of wipe all these teams out in these houses. Hey dude, everyone else in front of us is like on you, on you, beyond like the buildings and shit, dude. No shot, bro. And unfortunately, the loadout lands on top of this one little thing out in the middle of nowhere. Wow. Well, I needed that, but okay. I ended up seeing that guy on the rock at the last minute. Ghost? Try to stun him. Swolzen ends up killing him for me. I'm run this kid's running an M13. This shit's awful. And like I said, there's gonna. That guy shot me from that window right here and there's definitely going to be people in windows on rooftops being rats whatever so we're just going to rotate out of that okay. left, bro. let's go right dude there was guys over here that weren't in buildings on top of buildings i mean Enemy UAV active. I i have terrible guns not confident right now this house probably above us. Yeah, probably. I'm looking at this big building first. Oh wait, everybody just got a ghost now, right? So right here, like I said, there's probably gonna be people ratting these buildings out in the middle of nowhere. Um, there was three pings over to my right, and I still haven't seen a single person. So I'm just gonna assume there's gonna be people in this building or this building right here. End up seeing that guy. Homie right here. Don't end up seeing his homie. Someone's in there. Try to nade him, but he. He pushes like an idiot, so I just drop shot, drop shot, and uh, these well, these guys did not this? have it. I mean, I got a lot of the damage here. You this shit's ass, dude. Take the next no, wait, two. it's not you. It's SM13. It's like the damage is awful, bro. Sure. That's Takes a lot of shots to kill. Yeah, Let's good go. shit, dude. Get to the safe zone. PR, this game. In front of me in this house, running up the hill too. No, PR. One's still in the house. What house? The green? I think one across the street. There might be one, maybe not. So he says there's one across the street. I'm assuming it's probably going to be in green. I don't think... And that house here in a second is going to be cut off by storm. No, Harvey would have reached the other guy. That's pretty far. There's not really a whole lot you can do when there's only one room left in a house and somebody airstrikes it. So I see him in the window. And I'm like, I'm going to make him either die or rotate. Yeah, to my right, there's still a guy in this house. I know. I respect. Ran Found on one of them. 
end up getting armor marks on another one. End up getting that guy as well. In that window, there's two. Those, those killed, they killed the guy we should... So right here, I see how he's pretty pinned down. He lost a lot of plates. There's going to be a guy in the window right here. So I'm like, screw that. I'm going left. And I'm getting sniped from far, so I'm like, put the movement on him. They suck. Um, if you didn't know, I thought about this later. You can actually jump on top of this umbrella and jump up in that window. Oh, they have positioning. We're getting pushed. Let's you. End up rotating through this, this building. Shot at you by a different team. They can push right Gave my position away. Double child, and I'm like, nope. Literally one shot. I have 22 kills. Decide to pull off of that, so Swolzen comes in. Forget my full, and for some reason now when you get a full, it uh, gives you full plates. One more, one more uh, above us. On the roof. So right here, we made the fatal mistake. He said thirst him, thirst him, because he's probably going to thirst us. I realize I'm probably going to be able to revive him in time. And um, if anything, if he gets him down again, I'll just kill him. Um, I just didn't want to push over the roof because I didn't want to get sniped from the right. So he ends up selfing. Throws a thermite at us. I'm like, this guy's dumb and he's dead. I got way too thirsty. So right here, I totally could have put the movement on this guy. I could have ran. I could have done a lot of things. Um, but he ended up flashing me. And I instantly died after I got flashed somehow. All right. This is the second gameplay here. Um, I actually don't remember where we landed. I know he marked somewhere. Looks like he marked his barn. We've been going to that big barn lately. There's usually a couple teams that land up and around right there, and then a bunch of teams that land in fields. So you can come out of fields with uh, quite a, quite a bit of kills. I'm on my way, Swizzy. Game teams gonna wanna like render in or there. Just above you. Targets are up. Above me? Yeah, I'm gonna help. Oh, Alright, so right here, what I did was I gave the comm to him that there's definitely going to be people right up here fighting on this uh, supply drop. And that's going to be our next rotation after we get some guns. You always want to get some guns at least a couple places before you fight people. Just in case either A, they're sweaty, or B, there's more people than you expected. Let's kill this motherfucker and get a UAV. So we just we finally decided to rotate. I ended up with a pistol and a shotgun. I know he ended up with a machine gun. So we're like, screw it, let's go push. We're both at full plates. I know these guys probably aren't that good. So can't remember. Yep, we see them going to the house right here, and so we're like, screw it. They don't see us. Don't shoot yet. We'll push them in the house. You want to bet I take out both these dudes with a pistol and a shotgun? I'm like, how much you want to bet that I take out both these dudes with a pistol and a shotgun? I'm not even wasting a UAV on them. I think they already rotated. Oh no, they're here. Wow, you're so That's rat. one. <laughs> this guy was absolutely clueless. The first guy? Fuck yeah. Oh, my bad, dude. I mean, that was pretty close. Time. Well, yeah. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, he thought I stole his kill, which I basically did. I only did 13 damage uh, to that guy. One time, bro. But, I mean, I was close enough to do, like, one hit with that shotgun. Oh, you had a shotgun? Yeah. But, I mean, I did 237 damage to him. He had 13 HP. Yeah, he's right. That's my fault. Uh, do you want one of these NZs, bro? Huh? Do you want one of these NZs? Those NZs are actually dirty. 
if you get a if you get a good one, or you're you're good. Those NZs are actually dirty if you know how to use them. Um, the recoil is kind of off. It's it's super awkward for sure. But once you get used to it, they're pretty they're pretty nasty. No. You sure, these things are nasty, bro. Okay, grab that bounty again. So I just made the comm to him yeah, to grab that yeah, bounty. Yeah, so we uh, because right now I know absolutely where nobody is. Um, I don't hear shots. I don't see pings on the map. I don't see anybody on the map from where I'm standing. So I'm like. We don't have enough, or we we don't have time to run over to a buy station, so we're just gonna grab this bounty. Try to figure out where people are at. And the reason why we popped UAV after we popped a bounty is because after we get that bounty, we're gonna be able to both. Or we're, we're both going to be able to get UAVs and uh, keep rotating them. Instead of just buying the UAV, popping it, and then having no money afterwards. Double what? Double frag grenade it. Do it. I got a stun. And like I said last game, lethals were buffed, so these frag grenades come in super helpful. Hold up. over here. So I broke his armor, that's huge. Through the second one, these guys are scared. You can tell. I'm dead. And both dead. Thank you. Hey, somebody pulled up in the car up here. They're just like, oh my god. So I see that guy. Uh, the reason why I chow him is because we did just have a UAV up. And I'm pretty sure his homie was behind him. So I see him. And then I see the guy on the hill as well. He's going to be coming up right here. And I'm like, I need to put shots on that guy. Or else this guy is going to kill me. Where? So I put shots on him, break his armor. I'm like, they're probably not going to push since they're both broken. So I can just throw on a couple plates real quick. Yeah, you're solo for a second. So he made a good comm. You're solo for a second. Always make that comm. If you're going to flank, if you're going to rotate, you're playing 2v2s, you're playing wagers, anything like that. You got to make that calm. Yo, you're solo for a second. Fight them off. Play your life. You know what I mean? Um, always make those comms. Flanking, flanking. Can't knock me down. Hope he pushes. Be honest, I don't see him. So, what I just said right there, um, first and foremost, I threw a shoulder. And throwing a shoulder is something that a lot of pros do. You just kind of peek over. Uh, use your FOV to kind of see... Get, get get some information on like where the enemies are at. Um, I saw him run behind this bush, so I'm like, I can probably easily chow that. He's in the far house. Now the NZ's recoil, like I said, he drop shot me, kind of threw me off a little bit. A uh, good place by him, whatever. Um, but that NZ does have a lot of recoil, so. Where? The other one's in this house right here. He just broke glass. He's in this house right in front of me. There should be more. Let's do this, dude, too. Yeah, different teams. Broke that one on top. Thermited. There's a guy in the house to your right. Be careful. So he makes the comm. There's going to be a guy in the house to the right. I actually didn't see him, but I see him now. He's going to be right here. He's just looking. Huge comps from from Swolzen. I got his one shot. This guy's also one, one shot. shot. Pushing, pushing. Did you get the other guy over here? Was he a solo? I think so. No, did you kill the one in the other house? I mean. Yeah. He was a solo, or there was two in there. There's two in there, I think. What the hell are they doing? No, no, you have five. They were no, no, up the hill from us. Up the hill, you will right above us. Okay. Probably gonna fly down on us. Good. I love that about them. So in these positions, what I was gonna say earlier, um, some people are gonna think, "Yo, I don't want these guys to push me," but in reality, it's better if they do push you. Those uh, close range gunfights are easier to win. Well, they're not doing it. They're just waiting. They're waiting. I'm gonna knock one right now. 
I see you in the bush, pussy. Yes, I see you. Like, how did he know? How did he know? Kid's gonna get high ground on us, though. You know what I got on him and air spray. So, right there, he said that kid's gonna get high ground on us and try to kill us, so that's actually gonna be huge for him if he does. I'm like, you know what I got on him? I got an airstrike. Oh, shit, do it. Force him out. He's still, he's to my right. He's still on the hill. He's laying down. Yep. Totally whiffed this airstrike, 100%. Uh, two behind you, two behind you, right? I realize there's two yeah, people on the hill behind him. I'm gonna call him on them. So I'm like, they're above me? Right. What? But they ended up just being in the house behind that hill that shack. totally just whipped the airstrike. Fucking rocked one for you. So, right there, I was yeah, just looking at stray bullets. I spot him right here. Easy chow, realized that he's still plating. I popped Deddy just to go place. So, if you didn't hear that, I popped Deddy uh, just to go push this guy right here. He placed a claymore, either at the top of the stairs or on the other side of the building towards the ladder. So I'm like, okay, Stop. this guy's a bot, obviously, so I'm just going to go Stop. chase him. Pop Daddy, runs all the way around, tries to go okay. res. Sure. Assassinate him, though. easy kills. Didn't even try to help this boy? No, I, I killed him. Oh, you killed him already. I killed okay. both of them, yeah. And then did you kill this guy over here or no? No, those guys ran, dude. They ran hard. So he made the comment that these guys ran over here. Um... That's funny, dude. So right now, right. the biggest question is where are we going to rotate to? He goes AFK for a second, so I decide I'm going to go try to either pop a UAV or uh, chase some guys. But then I realize they uh, they ping at the tents above, and I love fighting over there, so I'm like, screw it. I'm just going to go push it by myself. So I realize there's going to be guys up here and we have enough money to get load out up here too. Um, quick thing, real quick. Um, loadouts that drop, especially on Caldera and especially after the update, um, are going to be really dangerous to push. I learned this like the very first game of Caldera I played. People love to camp loadouts in this game. And the reason being is because a lot of them land together and... A lot of people don't have loadout, or actually nobody has loadouts before first circle. So the first people to get to that loadout are usually the ones to get the most kills if they camp it. So right now I'm just trying to figure out where people are at. Um, there's a lot of really useful head glitches you can see that I use on these tents. It'd be super sneaky. So I spot them way back right there. In front of me right now. I'm like, I don't know uh, what we're gonna I do about this. Again. My audio is like super muffled. Like fucking, I'm gonna push. Don't know why. I got like a water glitch or something. Just amazing, bro. This game is so bad, dude. They got a lot of right below me. Comes. So they end up getting away from me. Um, not a big deal. You're big solo, brother. I know. Keep area recon. UAV, we're we getting flyover. Get by us another loadout too. If I stay alive here, I can't hear anything. So the biggest all. thing I'm trying to do in this game is play my life um, because I don't know why it keeps happening. That's one thing that I really need to work on is uh, definitely playing my life. And I need you to knock me, or uh, I guess you can't. I can knock myself with this ammo box actually. Oh shit! This guy's looking at me. Looking at load up. Yeah, two. So two, I see two, he's two. sniping. Um, never stop moving. You're, you're him? Seriously, don't don't go lay down behind a rock. Don't try to lay down behind the loadout and slow peek. Keep moving. Usually those snipers, like the reason why I say that is usually those snipers can't hit that headshot if uh, they're looking at a guy like sliding back and forth in 360 and you know what I mean. It's it's really hard. You can really embarrass people. Enemy is still alive. Enemy is still alive. 
Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna down myself. Can you revive me real quick? Yeah. So, I don't know if you guys know this about Caldera, but there's a glitch with, like, muffled audio. Um, not only your own audio, but, like, muffled footsteps and stuff. Um, I've gotten it a couple times, but he got it a bunch this game. So, if you ever get it, just down yourself and have your teammate revive you, and it'll go away. There we go, now it's normal, thank you. There's gonna be a team right behind us as well, Jewel. Got that let out right next to us. These guys got out right here. Ready you can fly here. them. If you're done. So, I saw where they got out in the car, and I'm like, let's just fly to them. We can definitely make it down the mountain. So he starts getting shot at. There's two options. I can either keep flying and uh, risk it, or I can stop and help. Different team to the right. I should have hit that play box before I destroyed it. <laughs> Do you know where these guys were? Or what? Someone to my right, close, right, close, right, close. Oh no, he's flying in. Oh, no, that's it. Yeah, these guys were weird, man. Brian, one, he's going, he's flanking hard on you. Flanking up your right, really, really vicious. Yeah, he's rotating above you. Broke his armory? Right here. I don't think he has any plates. He's running, he's running back. He regrets it. <laughs> this should go long. PKM with no attachments, just lasering this kid. Nice. Yeah, I, I just couldn't see anybody on the map, so um, that's one thing about Caldera. There's not very good visibility. He's way up there. You can probably rotate on him. He sucks. He's down. No, he's down the hill now. Hit him a lot again. He sucks, dude. I think I'm getting rotated on. Probably from the other kid. Yeah, he's on me. Right below me. Go sit there up here. Is, brother. So what I did there, um, always reposition during your gunfights. Not only does it throw them off guard, see he's looking at where I was, but also the higher ground you get, the more of a chance you have of winning the gunfight. There's a team down the hill fighting for me too. <clears throat> End up not being able to get very good shots on him, but he rotated. That's all I needed him to do. Or her. They regretted that push. God. We Did ended up rotating right? actually all the way over here. Um, he has a ping. He's like, yo, there's shots over here. I'm like, I don't know about that. I hear footsteps close to me. So I'm going to try to figure out where these guys are at real quick. He's, in house. He's like in a bush. I see him. He's in a doorway. He sucks. People sure. really. All right, I'm going to help you then. These guys, this guy's like far. Uh, do you have any plays? Because I have zero. And they end up just being the easiest kills ever. Where? What the fuck are they doing? Being dumbasses. We love to see it. I mean, we can go push those other kids too. So yeah, these guys didn't have a whole lot of stuff. NZ, fuck it. Wait, I need plates, dude. <clears throat> I have three here. We can go buy some right now. Yeah, I'm gonna get another load out too. Always split everything with your teammate, 50-50. The other team might be pushing us. Eh, never mind, they weren't. Not, not with the way they were playing. Especially in those tight situations. Looking for ammo, looking for plates. Don't be don't be stingy. I'm gonna grab Ghost, brother. So I um, make the decision to grab alert. Ghost. Both is AK. Sweet. I'll pop my UAV. Oh, dude, right behind us. Cool. Hey, uh, power plant. That's my favorite place to fight, bro. Where? Power plant. I'll go for these two then. So I make the call power plant. We end up just splitting off because I know he made the call that it was going to be a sweaty lobby, but this is a, this is a bot lobby, 100%. Uh, 
Uh, well, I guess they're all about to fight each other. So I'm going to try to get this guy on the left out in the open before I get the guy in the building. Catch him on the ladder, he repeaks. Bing, bang, boom. Going to try to rotate and get an angle on this guy over here. Always reposition after gunfights. End up getting dude. both of them. Yeah, yeah, you should. I'm hurting them, but I'm in an awful position if I, I'm not gonna lie. So he ends up saying, yo, I'm in a horrible position. Um, I need the help. Uh, I'm hurting them, but I'm low ground, so come help. I'm gonna push, I don't give a fuck. Where are they, Mark? Mark? They're dead. Someone else knocked the other one. Up the hill, him. So he ended up killing both of those dudes. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is look for the guy that sniped the last guy. No, to your left, you will. They're gonna be pushing us as well. I don't see anybody. I see him. He's like laying down, mounted up the hill. So I ended up spotting both of them. So there's gonna be one right here, and then one crab walking right here. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna be a menace He's with the car. Jump, I think, to us. So he might have fucked himself. You see him? Bing bang boom. And I end up saving his life right here. Yeah. Rats, man. The guy you ran over was literally one shot again. Look at my damage. Hey, bro, come on now. Look at my fucking damage. He's, he's, he's getting a little upset, but like, what am I supposed to do? Stop the car right before I'm about to run somebody over? Come on now. He asked for help, so I came and helped. He didn't move, bro. What am I supposed to do? I'm getting robbed. He is getting robbed, but that one was not my fault. Let me go grab this guy's money down here. Is there a... So I end up going and trying to rotate to grab this guy's money from uh, the guys that I killed. Fucking AK them, dude. Love that AK. Go try the AK. So right here, I end up seeing Cash and Guy on a rotation. There's always going to be people rotating on your backside after you uh, get into a gunfight. Can't make this up, bro. You big people are fucking weirdos. Oh, end up getting that kill. Go pop yeah, another yeah, you fucking cancel my order, pussy bitch. I need Actually, another one. My order and he fucking marks it as shit. But I then I messaged him. I'm like, you're really gonna make me return it, bro. Yeah. And I was what? like, I was like, you're really gonna make me return it. And then I was like, uh, I was like, uh, zero stars coming soon. And then I, how did I get a kill? They probably felt bad, bro. So Maybe. we end up running all Just the way uh, around. Assist, and then I got the kill. So he was like, no he was bro. like, how to get a kill? <laughs> and I was like, I'll maybe Activision felt game. bad because he kept getting robbed. That's pretty funny. Right Just like got a kill out of nowhere. Now I know which way we're coming from. We got a hell of guys start right, dude. I don't know maybe. So I try to push these guys. They end up running. Like always, try to play the headies on the tents. These guys are rotating way down the hill, I think. Yeah, they're running down the hill, soon. <laughs> Go to the right. Yeah, he, he went into the tents like a weirdo. Yeah, uh, I didn't think he was going to chow me right there. Wait. <laughs> that, guy, that guy did not yeah, have it. Doing, trying to snipe me, bro. Those guys did not have it. He ran in with the sniper out. Air striking. So I airstrike them for one reason. Hold on, when we are not in circle yet, these guys can hold us super easy. If we just airstrike these guys, then there's no way they're gonna be able to look out the window and kill us. 
I'm gonna rotate kinda into the middle of the runway, to be honest. I'm, put, uh, I'm, I'm pushing them, dude. Just kinda gotta guess where people are gonna be at. Where they are, the Always top trust top? your gut. I think so. Yeah, never mind. There's no point in pushing that. There's one down low, though. So I realize there's gonna be one down low, so I'm just gonna stim push him and then try to go for the two up top. Probably two. One probably has a ghost. These guys are gonna be weird. Well, oh, they're way up here. Around we go. And I get right here and I realized, God, <laughs> I'm really exposed from this side and that's a huge rooftop. You know what I mean? Um, this guy's probably holding an angle up here. Not a good fight at all. I can still get shot from over here as well. Airstrike, whatever. So I'm just gonna rotate. The rats, dude. I say we rotate Enemy on them. UAV active. Okay, there's two. He was AFK. Or he just had terrible reflexes. <laughs> uh, doing the tree, so look at that. Yeah, but there's one more over there. Oh, uh, above us? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's an AFK or he just had terrible reflexes. That was pretty funny. Oh, you're saying that was the teammate of the other guy? Yeah. They were trying to get him. Oh, I see his guns. They're on the top top, bro. I just saw his gun. I think. So I see the guy on top. I realize that there's two up there. Um, trying to make sure that we can kill both of them so we don't have anybody behind us. Yeah. End up smoking yeah. that dude. It was a solo up there, too. Tower rats, man. MG42, huh? Imagine I die at 17 again. Pop UAV, where you at or no? Uh, so yeah. basically what happened, um... You should be able to beat it this time. Spools ended up rotating across the runway and uh, trying to go push you these guys over UAV, here. Where you at or no? And so I'm like, I'm probably going to need to go Bombs help. They're on me, they're on me. He's going to come out the door now, there's two. End up surprising the crap out of me. And then just absolutely torch these guys. Wait. Oh, dude. I heard a different guy in front of me. You will? Right in front of me in this make little sure hut there. I got everything you need, bro. I got everything right here. So I'm like, make sure you guys need, or have everything close, you need. Gas close. mask, uh, satchel, um, plates, stems, everything. This guy ends up like, I keep catching these guys out of nowhere. Like, they'll rotate on Swolzen and then like try to run, our, run away from him and then I'll like catch them on the rotations. Extremely cringe. Yeah, that would be him. Do you have a ghillie suit on? FBGG yep. hillbilly tree. These guys are definitely going to be GG's, man. To so again... We're going to have to rotate, probably. Yeah, my left too. So we're going to see. Left. Right. Where? Now we're going to have to rotate. Obviously, they have positioning on us. Uh, we're going to have to rotate so they can just shoot out of those windows and kill us. So all I'm going to do is just airstrike it yes, and rotate. And now I know... Okay, so Swolzen is going to do a pinwheel rotation to the left, and I end up getting spooked and going to the right. Just crossed my right. This is Phoenix Three, strike inbound. So I'm like, last minute decision. Screw that. That's a horrible place to be. I don't want to have to cross this runway. And I start booking it. One more on me, Kibble. Yo, I crossed, I crossed, I got crossed. I'm playing circle. Everyone into the dead zone, now! Oh, fuck. I'm dead. Bro, no fucking way, dude, they're both one shot. I knocked one and broke the other one's armor. I don't know how we got out of that, but to be honest. No idea. 
So this guy, just like I said, missed his shots. I end up getting the perfect positioning. Should be one close or something. So I remember there's a few dots over on this side of the map, so I'm just going to try to look and try to find where these guys are. You should have pushed at me. Would have destroyed those kids so easily. Probably didn't. It was just kind of like a split second. Left or right, and then went left. Or I mean right. Mm. So, right there, I saw a sniper glint. It's going to be coming from this window over here. Right there. Yep, you saw it for a split second. So, I'm like, he saw me definitely. Try to get the knock on this guy. I knew there was people back there. I don't know how many people are back there, keep in mind. What? I hear an airstrike, realize that it's going for that little hut right there. No, you're touching me. You're you woke up finally? It's the new safe zone. So I end up spotting this guy right here, trying to get the knock. No knock. end up hitting the knock on him and this I have an option I have two options I can just wait because I don't know where people are at I know there's maybe a guy over here somewhere I know that there's somebody right here and somebody right here so what I think I'm gonna do which I shouldn't have done I should stay in this building one because this guy still has to rotate two because I don't know where these people are but last second jitters get the best of me I end up being like, screw it, I can probably catch these guys with a really good rotation and end up like just wiping all of these people. So I end up coming around. Um, next time, if this ever happens to me again, I'm going to swing like really wide on this barrel instead of, um, where were we? Yeah, instead, instead of going this way, I'm going to want to swing wide just to try to catch that guy off guard. I hear footsteps to my right, and I'm like, game over. This guy ends up self resing I saw the guy pop out. And then some guy kills me from the other side. This guy was kind of sweaty. It was a really dumb push. I probably could have won that. But at the end of the day, you probably should... Just play positioning. Um, like I said, one thing that I really need to work on personally is playing my life. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this kind of content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It's completely free, and it really helps out the channel. If you want more videos where I go over my gameplay, kind of give you tips, tools, and tricks that you can use, uh, make sure to leave it down in the comments. Other than that, you guys have a good day. Peace.